water heater for the greenhouse. After my last electric bill, it got up to, uh, cost me about an extra $65 to heat the uh, fish tanks, which is uh, kind of cost prohibitive. So we're going to try this. I uh, built a box out of uh, some 2x4s, uh, put some Dow Blue insulation on the back, painted it black. I'm using uh, polyethylene tubing, half inch, that is rated for 140 degrees. Uh, I've got some leftover uh, clear corrugated panels I'm going to put on these. Uh, these are white ones are going on the back side. And I've got these uh, other ones here that uh, I'm going to put on the front. Uh, I've got some eight footers left I'm going to cut up. This is a four by four. This is for one set of tanks. Put that on there. Got two connections coming in, one in and out, cold and hot. I'm going to put a check valve on it. I've got a 196 gallon per hour pump uh, that I'm going to throw in the uh, fish tanks. Pump this out. I'm going to put a one way check valve so I don't have any. Uh, auto siphon problems uh, with heat and cold so we're gonna see how this works I should have it together by the end of the day today and you know have it uh, up and running so uh, I'm gonna connect that with some garden hose uh, I've got some barb fittings to put in the end of it with hose clamps so it shouldn't leak anyway uh, more to come when I get it done okay the solar water heater is in place I still have to uh, anchor it to the ground. Use some 5 8 inch garden hose and then I insulated the hot water pipe uh, return back to the tanks. Drilled a 2 inch hole in the side of the greenhouse to run the pipe in and uh, you know wire those up together. I may come back and put some more insulation on the, the uh, uh, cold water line uh, since it will carry some heat at some point real simple sitting up on some bricks just uh, faces due south it did get pretty hot uh, there's some white uh, melting marks on the plastic so I don't know if that's gonna hold but we'll see I don't think it'll be an issue here it is running into the greenhouse. I didn't worry about insulating it on the inside. I may come back and do that later. Uh, probably will to, to absorb the heat because the greenhouse will get uh, kind of chilly. It'll probably, you know, be in the 50s and 60s in here. So, you know, that'll suck some heat out of the line. So I'll probably come back and put some insulation. Uh, got that going into the tank. I don't know if you can see that. It's got water flowing into it. I uh, just drilled a three-quarter inch hole, used some uh, half-inch nipples and um, female and male adapters and put a piece of pipe in it. So we'll see what happens there. I've got that run into a um, uh, Aquatop 496 gallon per hour pump that's uh, opened all the way. And as you can see, I had to purge the lines of air to get it to, to run, but uh, you can see the water flowing out. It's not a, not a big stream, so uh, it should be just about right uh, to heat the tank up. And I've got that pump connected to my aquarium heater's uh, thermostat, so that when the temperature of the water reaches a certain uh, preset temp it'll shut the pump off so I don't uh, you know cook the fish and then at night I will uh, actually have to disconnect the pump uh, probably gonna put an inline toggle switch on this thing so I can cut it on and off at night uh, since the heater will probably you know cut on so what I'm thinking is I'll you know set this about 85 degrees get the temp up during the day and then uh, let it radiate heat at night. Uh, running this pump will be a little bit cheaper than uh, my electric bill for the 500 watt titanium heaters. So I'm probably going to leave one hooked up as a supplement at night uh, to help stabilize. 
so hopefully it'll lower my bill. So we're going to test it out tomorrow in full sunlight. We've got a, a bright sunny day tomorrow. Should be in the mid 50s. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I tested the temp on the inside of the box earlier uh, midday, about one two o'clock in the afternoon, and it was getting up to about 110 degrees inside the box. Uh, the pipe's probably getting up to 130, and it's rated for 140 degrees. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. But um, that's about it for now.